Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are having a student, like a six-year student, uh, in Lviv National Medical University. He is with us. So let him introduce. Hi guys, my name is Alvin. I'm from Tamil Nadu, Tuthukudi, and I'm studying sixth year in Lviv National Medical University. So we got a lot of questions uh, via Instagram, and we are thinking about clearing it with him. So let's start with the first question, bro. How would you choose a university in Ukraine? So the the criteria for choosing the university in Ukraine is like uh, first you have to know how well the good uh, university is like uh, don't always believe only the agent you should uh, explore by yourself you have to uh, search about it you have to try to contact some students and you have to uh, get the information from them and think about the living expenses in here because uh, living expenses in here differs from a city if it is like a more uh, Big in city, center, yeah, big city, or if it is like a capital in key uh, in capital, if you go there, it'll be a little more expensive. But if you go like a little far, it'll be a little ex uh, less expensive. So it depends on that also. The individual, like if yeah, you're able to afford, afford it, it you then can you can uh, study in wherever you want. So but if you think about living expenses, then you have to you can't think about the studying. So yeah. your first criteria should be like how well the university is and how well the teachers are there. So you have to research about it and get the information from any students studying the. Try to contact them and get the information from them. So why did I choose Lviv at the time? Like you are in sixth year. Yeah. Six years back itself, uh, you choose Lviv. Why the reason? The reason is my brother studied in Ukraine, so he wants to study in Lviv, but he can't. Mm -hmm. So that time his friend was starting an agency, mm -hmm. so he asked him to join me in Lviv. Like Lviv is. An underrated university at that time, mm -hmm. but it's a good one of the best university you can study in Lviv, like uh, in Ukraine. Okay, so currently it is like that. Yeah, but right now we have a lot of students studying in uh, Lviv. Lviv. Like, uh, it gets uh, well famed now. Yeah. But at that time it's like not famous. Okay. But it was a uh, one of the good university. People who wants to study well, they they like they love to come here and study. Okay, so currently you are in sixth year. Yes. Are you preparing for crop two? Uh, yeah, I'm preparing. I'm preparing because, like, uh, if you can say all subjects in sixth year, it's like a cycle. It's a rotation. Mm -hmm. So teachers here, they will side by side. They will make you prepare for croc. Okay. They will give you croc MCQs daily test, mm -hmm. and you have to pass that. So it's like uh, they will make you prepare for croc test, and in soon university will start a pre croc. Mm -hmm. So in pre croc you will have, you will start to write 200 MCQs and you will practice your uh, croc. Mm -hmm. So right now it's like I'm not giving much effort, but I'm giving little effort for croc. So are you preparing simultaneously for the next two? Yeah, uh, no, I don't have next two. Oh, you're writing MCA exam. Yeah, I'm, uh, I have MCA exam, and like I'll be the last batch to write yeah, the MCA. Yeah, 2023 exam. it starts. It right? starts okay. with next. So M FMG, I'm like uh, not preparing much, same, mm -hmm. uh, because I have time and I don't want to stress myself for FMG. So mm -hmm. I should like. Uh, study revise all the subjects so mm -hmm. i'm spending more time on revising all the subjects than rather uh, studying for fmg okay. so i will start fmg by oh, i can give little time from january to march for fmg and like from march to may for uh, crop 2 okay so uh, can i ask you one thing yes mm, are you can you please uh, tell something about next one and next two so next one next two next one next two is like exam which is uh, they are standardizing the MCA, so mm -hmm. they wanted to make it similar to year assembly flab, mm -hmm. so kind of exam. So they are uh, making it more clinical questions. Right now in MCA we have clinical questions, but not all. Mm -hmm. But in next one and in next one, mm -hmm. you can't say next two. It's like uh, next two is practical. Okay. Or next one is uh, MCQ based. Mm -hmm. So in next one they are making it more clinical uh, kind of questions. Mm -hmm. So it will be like uh, 720 questions. Okay. That's what I information I got, and it will be like a three days exam. So then you will have next two. Next two is like after you pass next one, you have to do a one year internship, and like after one year internship, you will do the next two. That's like a viva or practical exam. Mm -hmm. And once you clear the next two, you will get the medical license okay. from India. So uh, is the marking marking scheme similar to that of uh, FMG? Yeah, it's similar. It's like uh, it's it's more similar to neat. Okay. It's more similar to neat, and they are like uh, thinking to make it. Uh, if the mark you get in next one mm -hmm. is the one, it will determine your PG seats. Okay. So if I pass FMG night right now, I have to give a neat PG. Okay. But if those who pass next exam, they don't need to give neat PG. They will they first they will take the priority for the next one marks. So there are negative marks. 
there is next there is like the, it's not a full information is given yet but okay. there may be there may be there just may a be. hint yeah okay more like they are telling like neat if it is more like neat then you will have mm-hmm. negative marks okay. so if a person has to clear uh, wants to get the registration from india mm-hmm. and that person wants to uh, do his pg in uh, uk okay yeah so what what all procedures or what all, what should he do so that that's depend on a person like uh, as you told like he wants both him uh, recognized as a doctor in india and you have, you have to do pursue in uk so in that sense you have to pass mca or next i think next is the one like in future people mm-hmm. will pass so they have to pass the next and you have to get this uh, certificate unless you don't have a registration that you are a doctor recognized doctor in india it's not a valid wherever you go study so after that where, wherever in world like uk us uh, canada australia wherever you go you can clear their exam like flab usmle you can clear their exam and you can finish your uh, pg studies there then you have, you can come and work here like pgs are recognized in india okay. but when you clear a ug you have to give a mca exams you have to give the exam and you have to get the medical registration okay there. is it the similar case for all the other countries yeah like more countries except uh, UK, USA, Canada. Those who study there, they don't need to give MCA. Okay. They are already recognized here. Okay. So, they don't they don't need to write MCA or like to clear exam. If they want to do PG, they have to do NEET. That's all. NEET PG. NEET PG. Okay. Yeah, to get uh, seats. That, that's the only exam we have to give. Okay. So this NEET one and NEET two, it happens over a time span of three days. Next one. Yeah. Next. next no, no. One. It's yeah. like next one alone. It's three days. Okay. It's like that. Uh, next one is like. Uh, this exam is like per day you will have a major subject a minor subject mm-hmm. so a major subject is like 3 uh, hours or something mm-hmm. and minor subject is like 1 uh, and a half hours or something mm-hmm. and you will have a 30 minutes break in between mm-hmm. like a break i don't know how much minutes a break is okay. but a break is there mm-hmm. and it's same like 3 days one major one minor one major one minor and it'll be like a uh, 720 mcqs you will do okay the whole thing whole day all three days okay all three days it will be like a round off of 720 mcqs okay so uh, when will you write the next two the, when will you give the next two the? next two is like when you pass next one okay. you have to uh, do one year internship okay after you clear one year internship they will give, then they will have a next two okay And you have to do an internship in india yeah you have to do an internship in india in some recognized hospitals okay. like uh, there is some hospital where mcs are approved Okay. So you have to do in such hospitals, mm-hmm. and then you will have next two. And then you have to pass next two. If you didn't pass next two, it's like a, not a problem. Then you can give again next two alone. Don't need to start from next one. Next one. one. Okay. You can give next two alone. So how much? Uh, how much years is this uh, next one degree valid? Like uh, the qualification valid? <clears throat> I don't know about it. Like, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's like this information I got it from internet while I was while that time they were telling it's next. Two. for next exam mm-hmm. for us so i was researching about this exam okay. and it's like even the council they are not clear about next okay. so that's why they i think that's why the reason me postponed it they want all the students who are uh, clearing this uh, next two it will be from like 2023 right most probably yeah those who have to uh, those who go give exams on 2023 they mm-hmm. have to give next okay it's, 2022 it's december is the last for fmg is it's confirmed it's confirmed it's like they are telling it it will be like it's off news like you know where you can get the uh, sure news okay. wherever you search in internet some some place they say it's a confirmed news and some place they say no the bill can the bill is not confirmed so they will postpone it okay So it's, it's not. It's varying. Yeah, it's a, okay. it's like a rumor and it's like a true news. So you have to. You just have to study. Study for it. Okay. That's all. So how is the teaching level of the faculty over here? The teaching is uh, like above average. Okay. It's a uh, it's good. They will teach you mostly everything, and it's like uh, mostly understandable. Okay. And yeah, it and it depends on you also how much effort you put we it, have to, to put, put in. over here. Yeah. You know, in medical school there is a one saying. If the topic is today, you have to half prefer the topic before the teacher teaches you in medical life. So you have to te- you have to put more effort with the teacher. So your five year experience over here, how is it? My five year experience is so good, like uh, not a topper, mm-hmm. but like uh, within a good in a good side of a teacher and like uh, above average always. So uh, not like a bad student. Not not with the bad credits or not with the bad fame, like a, not like bad name. Okay. <laughs> But it's uh, good. Like uh, I used to put my effort. Mm-hmm. Sometimes if uh, if I am not giving and more effort, teachers they help me. Like uh, I I can 
I have a lot of features. Mm-hmm. At that time, if I'm like uh, not able to concentrate well or some some other problems will go in my mind, they used to help me. They used to okay, you can do it next time. They encourages me like uh, you can do it next time. Next time, I'm expecting more from you. Mm-hmm. Those words they will push you. They will they will kick you. Mm-hmm. Go do more. Do more. Like. my five years life is so good here. okay so you'll be having a lot of memories at the same time a good degree from here i hope so hope so, hope so. i have already a lot of good memories and it's like uh, going well mm-hmm. and the degree i'm waiting for it okay once i'll get the degree then it's like fulfill what i'm uh, putting my effort on what i'm pouring my sweats and everything it's like give me a good degree a good life so that's all that these are the questions we got from our viewers like the main questions and we asked it with a person who is supposed to know it and uh, that's all guys that's the video so if you have any suggestions any doubts just leave it in the comment section below and um, do hit that like share and subscribe button that's the usual thing and uh, let us know if you have any doubts and that's it peace out